Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri. I'm back in town, man. I went on another road trip. This time it was to Marietta, Ohio. So it was like a 12, 13 hour road trip by the time I stopped and fueled up, got a little bite to eat. So it was a, it was a quite a drive, man. I drove up there, got there at like, I don't know, midnight or something like that. Got a few hours of sleep and then woke up the next day and and i met this guy that had a uh, he had a lawn care business he recently sold his lawn care business and he had the vent track and maybe a few attachments he sold all that as kind of a package deal and for some reason i didn't really get to the bottom of it or ask him why he had the leaf plow left over but for some reason the only thing he le had left uh, from that business is the vent track leaf plow and he had that thing for sale and uh, man i like i, I checked it out online and i was like man this thing looks like brand new so i knew he had taken care of it i knew it wasn't abused so i made the long trip up there to check it out and sure enough man it was just like the pictures uh that he had posted it was uh you'll see it here in a minute but it's like brand new i mean it's only been used a few times it looks like so um got to pick that up i'll get to use that this season for fall cleanup i mean it's going to help us out a whole lot we had the dump trailer set up with the leaf back up front so we um we do curbside pickup we'll suck those leaves up into the dump trailer and then haul them off for the customers so this leaf plow is going to allow us to push those leaves those huge pile of leaves that we get into in the fall and winter months here in Missouri, and push all those leaves to the curbside a whole lot quicker a whole lot easier so i'm super thankful that we were blessed with the opportunity to pick that up but um, you're going to see it here in a minute, but also we, we had a chance to go to Ventrac headquarters and kind of check that out. It was a quick trip. Um, it was a kind of a spur of the moment trip. It was actually raining here for like two days. I actually rained the whole week, but the next two days it was supposed to rain. So I was like, man, it's rained all week. We got two more days of rain. I'm out of here. I'm going to go up, pick this piece of equipment up before somebody else, you know, picks it up, um, ahead of me. And then that makes sure I have that equipment for the fall so that's what i ended up doing it was kind of a spur of the moment trip i went up there picked it up then ran over to uh, ventrac headquarters which is only like an hour and a half away from this guy so it was really close and then uh you know saw some things there like you'll see here in the video um what i checked out at ventrac headquarters is a little interesting um and then after i left there man i went and met up with uh, a couple of people that are really big on social media youtube and uh, the lawn care community so you'll get to see who i met up with at the, towards the end of the video so stick around for that but anyways i'm going to show you this uh ventrac leaf plow i'm going to talk about it and i'm going to show you um you know how it's made how it's built and kind of some specs on it and kind of the reason why i chose this as opposed to maybe uh, they have jrco and they have detach um, leaf plows that you can mount on your zero turn mowers they work I don't know how the um, the detach leaf plow works, but it looks like it works really well. And I'll explain that here in a second. But the one that I had was the JR Co plow. And it had little caster wheels on it that were hard plastic, kind of like an anti-scalp roller that you'll have on your mower deck. It was kind of those hard plastic wheels. It didn't, it didn't move really well. It didn't turn really well. It kind of messed up the lawn whenever you were out trying to trying to maneuver around in those in those lawns doing leaf cleanup. So I've had it for probably over 10 years. I've had it for a really long time, but I didn't use it so much. So I ended up selling that last year and I was like, man, I really need another leaf plow, but something that's gonna work a lot better and something that I'll use like every day during uh, leaf season. So I found the uh, detach leaf plow and I thought, man, this thing's a lot better. And one of the main reasons is because on the detach leaf plow, instead of those hard plastic uh, wheels, they actually have like small mower wheels, I'm gonna call them. I don't know what you call them, but they're not hard plastic. They're actually either either uh, solid rubber tires or I think they're air-filled tires. But either way, um, I'll look at these here in a minute and see if they're air-filled. But either way, uh, at least they're rubber, you know. They're rubber, they're bigger size, probably eight inch tires or something like that. But they're not small plastic, uh, caster wheels that like like on that jr co plow so i was thinking about getting the detach leaf plow and then when i got a hold of ventrac last year i started using the ventrac 4500k i really fell in love with the ventrac with all the attachments and i was thinking you know what um this year since i kept the ventrac around i'm like you know i gotta get a leaf plow for it and one of the main reasons is because 
uh, the reason I went with the um, Ventrac leaf plow instead of like the detach is because this thing is huge, man. I don't know what the specs are. I tried to look it up on the detach. I couldn't find anything as far as how wide it is. But I do know that the JR Co leaf plow, it's like 55 inches wide, which is wide for a zero turn. But if you can get something this big, why not? I mean, this Ventrac leaf plow, it's 78 inches wide and it's 50 inches tall. So it's huge. It's a big, tall leaf plow. It has the uh, bristles down there at the bottom. They're like eight inches tall. So um, you have the um, capability of kind of pushing that down or raising it up, just depending on how thick of leaves that you're in and how deep the leaves are. And then it has these side extensions that you can put on here. You can take them off too if you want, but um, if you have them on, it keeps everything kind of contained in front of you and it won't like go off to the side is easy it'll kind of make things compact to the kind of the center of that uh, leaf plow so 78 inches wide 50 inches tall this thing is huge and it weighs like 300 pounds i i asked aaron i was like uh aaron over at ventrac i was like man how much does this thing weigh and he was like i think he said around 275 i looked on the website didn't get any um exact weight for the leaf plow but he was telling me it's about 275 pounds and i was like man I, and i believe it's every bit of that we tried picking this thing up and it's heavy i mean you can't even lift it to put it in the trailer or whatever we had to kind of roll it on there so it's a heavy duty piece of equipment um it's mounted to the ventrac which is made i mean the ventrac tractor that's what it's made for attachments for pushing things pulling things lifting things carrying things so this is what the Ventrax is designed to do, you know. It's designed to have attachments up front. Yeah, you could put a leaf plow, and I probably still will put a, a detached leaf plow on my zero turn in the future, but I always wonder in the back of my mind, I'm like, are the zero turns really designed to have that much weight on the machine to move something around, push something around? Um, you know, putting that leaf plow on there, it adds weight to the machine. Uh, you're pushing that so it's more strain on the hydros i don't know it may or may not burn the hydros out quicker i'm not an engineer i don't design the mowers but just from a lawn care operator standpoint i'm like why stress the mower out if you really don't have to you know this thing is designed the ventrac is designed to move stuff around to lift stuff that's that's way it's designed a mower is designed to mow uh, yeah i can push a leaf plow around those leaves get heavy especially if it's you know some of these jobs that we get into where the leaves have been there for like a couple of years and they uh they've broken down a little bit and they're wet and they're heavy and they're nasty sure i mean that's a lot of weight added to you know that machine if you're going to be pushing that all day every day so it's like you know i could get by and i probably will get a detach uh plow down the road but for now we're going to do this we're going to run the vent track and the leaf plow uh, this thing will have no problem. I know with the zero turns and you and the uh, JR Co plow, there were times where you would get into some heavy, thick leaves, and it just kind of struggled. You know, like the mower would spin a little bit. Uh, you would get leaves under the deck. It would raise the machine up. You would kind of get high centered if you took on too many leaves. So this thing right here, you're not going to slow down. It's not going to pile up underneath the mower it's just going to drive over whatever's underneath it so or the tractor so this thing is going to be like a hundred times better than running the the mower with the plow so we're going to try it out see how it works this fall um like i said 78 inches wide 50 inches tall huge huge leaf plow but just kind of curious what you guys use for leaf cleanup so drop a comment below let me know what your leaf setup looks like uh in your area so enough talking about the leaf plow leaf cleanup let's head to ventrac headquarters
So this must be Ventrac country. Man, check out these stripes. This is looking good. Doesn't look like Missouri. We're hot and dry. Looks like they got a little irrigation probably going on here, I'm sure. And keeping everything looking nice and green. And I'm almost bet that a Ventrac is laying these stripes. It better be anyways. So there's a uh, big slope behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it back there, but I'm just wondering if they test out the Ventrac on one of those hills. I don't know. Let's go over here and see if we can go inside and see what's going on here at Ventrac. Let's see. What? They locked the door on me. Are you kidding me? They probably saw me walking up here with my camera. It says visitor parking right here. But they got it blocked off like they don't want me in here. So I tried Ventrac, I tried. I guess I'll catch you on the next trip. Now that's pretty cool. Got an oil rig over there. You won't see those down in Missouri. Man, that's pretty bad. I've got a Ventrac leaf plow on my trailer. Look at this. Sitting here on my trailer. Just picked it up from a guy in Marietta. I think it was Marietta, maybe. I may be killing that name, but I think that's where it was at. Anyways, picked up um, this leaf plow from another guy that had a Ventrac. Uh, he sold his business and sold the Ventrac, and he had this left over. So I went over there, picked it up today, and then came over here to Ventrac headquarters. You know what the bad thing is? They still won't let me in, man. I got Ventrac sitting on my trailer. I got the Ventrac hat, Ventrac shirt, but I ain't getting in Ventrac. <laughs> Not today anyways. Oh wait, hold on a second. I see a really steep hill over here. That's definitely where they test it out. I wonder if I can get over there to it. We're gonna find out. Now check this out, man. You don't see these very often. In Missouri either, solar farm. A lot of solar panels through here. Man, that is cool. But I will say, Aaron, you gotta get out here. Somebody's gotta get out here. Get that wide area mower in between these uh solar panels, because man, this grass is like it's like two feet tall. So check out this huge slope behind me. They've been testing that Ventrac out on that bad boy. Keeping it nice and striped, man. It looks really, really good. All this area right here, it looks like they need to come out here and tackle it. The geese sure do enjoy it though. Got a little pond over here and some taller grass. The geese are just hanging out, man. They're like, hey, we're waiting for the Ventrac to come out and play. Look at this. Now I wonder if this is a demonstration area where they got out there with the flail mower, the finish mower, trying to give you an idea of how each mower cuts uh, the different grass types or, or links. I can't remember what they were doing there, but I know they were Comparing the two decks, showing you what the flail mower would do, showing you what the uh, finish mower would do. So now I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this out there. Um, I'm not busting on anybody. I'm not 
talking down on anybody. And I'm for real, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just gonna tell you that, just look at that stripe. Does that look straight to you guys? No, not at all, man. Ventrac, I know the Ventrac can go straighter than that. So next time you guys are out here mowing this, I wanna see some straight, smooth, straight stripes. I'm just kidding, I'm just messing with you guys. But for real though, if you watch on my YouTube video with that 95 inch wide area mower, man, that Ventrac keep a straight line. It's not anything I'm doing, but the Ventrac itself can just hold a really straight line. And it's probably uh, the area that I mow, it's a, little, it's a little deeper than this, but those stripes are straight, man. I'm just saying, those 95 inch stripes that uh, I laid down, on that one property in uh, the YouTube video, they're straight. These on the other hand, that one right there, man, it's hooking big time. I don't know, maybe they're trying to dodge something out there. I'm just messing with you guys, but looks nice out here, pretty and green. The stripes look really good. I just wish it was like this right now in Missouri because it's dry, dusty. It looks like, <laughs> Looks like about that hillside over there. Dirt and a few weeds sticking up, and that's about it. I wish we had some green grass right now. If we did, I'd be home mowing, but instead, took a little road trip and picked up the Ventrac leaf plow, trying to get ahead of the game for uh, leaf season. So that's why, I'm, that's why I'm here. And then I'm hoping to go see the Spencers when I leave here if they got time so it's been a fun trip so far man it's been a lot of fun ta-da ta-da <laughs> Cameron said he was gonna video we're us we're all so. the way in Missouri nope just kidding oh, <laughs> we're in Worcester Ohio <laughs> hey I'm in Worcester town and uh, I went by Ventrac headquarters to um well to really see if I could get in there and check out their equipment but they were locked as you could tell in the video so I wanted to come by and see the Spencers, so here they are. Yeah. Here we are, ta-da! Yeah, so we <laughs> met up, got some uh, breakfast. What'd you have? I had a uh, meat lover's omelet and a lot of coffee. No vegetables, right? No veggies. No veggies. Not right now. What about you? I had the avocado power bowl. Ooh, power bowl. Yes. That'll get you through a long day of mowing. Yeah, it will. <laughs> or trimming. Will. What did you have, Cameron? Oh, I had the pancakes, four pancakes, and how many how many pieces of bacon did they give me? Do you know? I, I think know, it was like three, three, four, three or four. Three or four? I ate it all, man. I've been on the road, been driving, I'm tired, I was hungry. No coffee for No you. coffee. Sweet tea. The, sweet tea, yeah. You gotta see Cameron, bring him a sweet tea. Yeah, bring <laughs> me two sweet teas if you can. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a long trip back home. Long trip. But uh, just want to stop by and see these guys, and I'm glad you guys had time to hang out for a little bit. I yeah. enjoyed hanging out with you guys. We enjoyed you stopping by, man. Yeah, you're you're always welcome it. here in Ohio anytime you come through. I'm going to have to come to the track. Maybe next time let me know we'll break into the place or something. <laughs> there you go. Run some, run some mowers around and see what we can do. We can figure something out for sure. Yeah, for sure. Now, what do you guys got going on? What's new? So we just left the convention that was actually in the area where you're at right now, near Ventrac, uh, for the Spencer Pro event that we, we're calling it now. And it's for the community. Everything we do is for the community. And it's just gonna be uh, a new event center we're gonna be bringing to our channel later today. Probably beat you to your upload. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a little bit of a drive. <laughs> right. But uh, whenever you guys see it, that's what we're doing. We're looking at a new event center. We're gonna be checking some others out as well. We have a golf course we're gonna be checking out. Oh, okay. Uh, I was really, trying to maybe incorporate some golfing like top golf style yeah, into sure. it uh like toro did with us last year yeah. that was fun yeah that was, it was a lot cool. of fun but we can't get it for winter time in our area gotcha. so, sorry guys <laughs> might not be hitting golf balls might <laughs> no. be hitting <laughs> get some snowballs maybe <laughs> snowballs <laughs> <Snow> maybe <shovels. laughs> absolutely absolutely gotcha. so that's so so what's going on at the event maybe somebody that's that's new and hasn't heard of the Spencer event, what's gonna be going on there? Yeah, so it's all about giving back to the community. That's the biggest thing. We've done toy drives, which we're gonna continue that to help out local churches, Marines Toys for Tots, 
uh, and just really giving back to the community in general. We do a ton of giveaways for folks that come. We try to make sure people leave with something, okay? Not go. just knowledge, but also a memento that they can take back. We do our signature coffee mug every year. Uh, we bring influencers in from all over. We had Mike Andes, uh, Caleb and Brittany Almond last year, the Almonds. Okay. Uh, and they come in, they speak with folks, and they just give experiences and answer. The biggest thing is Q&A. Because, you know, everybody can go up there and just give your spiel. I'm Sean, Spencer Lawn Care. I've yeah, got sure. 11 years in business, yada, yada, yada. But really opening up to people that have real questions and concerns to help make their businesses better, that's the biggest part of it. So we do, we ask our speakers to have a Q&A session, a long one. Mm -hmm. Mike will stand up there for 10 hours yeah, if you yeah. let him. <laughs> right. mean, you, you gotta really back Mike down. Yeah, he'll yeah, he'll yeah. be there forever. <laughs> But he's got a, he's got a lot of knowledge. Cups too. Yeah, he broke one of my coffee cups. Uh -oh. Mike owes me for that. Mike, if you're watching this, you know what you need to bring the next event. Uh, so that's really it. You know, we're we're trying to take it to the next level. Yeah, you sure. know, and always stay ahead of the game. And I think we're going to do that this year with our event in December. And okay. you're absolutely welcome to come as well, Cameron. I'll make sure we're taking care of you. And we'd love to have you out there as well. I appreciate it. I'm going to have to see see what's going on in December. Usually in Missouri, man, there's no grass growing, of course. Maybe a little bit of leaf cleanup, but probably not any snow. Um, we don't really get a whole lot of snow, so I'd probably be uh, available to come up here and check that out. Maybe I can swing by Ventrac at the same time. And, Ventrac. You know. Maybe Ventrac will be there. Who knows? Maybe Ventrac. <laughs> hey, yeah. 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 Toro, Ventrac, they're pretty close connected now, I heard. They'll yeah. be there. If they're watching this video, they better, they better <laughs> show up. <laughs> don't make us threaten you or anything. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. We'll come just after kidding. you showed again. up to Bob Evans, so whatever. <laughs> right, right. I don't know. Aaron. Aaron, you're three hours late to Bob Evans. <laughs> He's probably still riding his mountain bike trying to make it over here. But... I mean, it is pretty hilly around here. It is. So. Got some hills to climb, but he'll probably get around here about the time we roll out. All but... in fun. All in fun. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, I'm getting off here. I got a long trip home, but just want to get these guys on here real quick and let you uh, let you know what they got going on. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate and, you, man. Uh, man, I hope the Safe best travels. for your business. You and I guess well. we'll probably see you at Equip Expo. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They'll be there. So check them out. Make we'll sure you see. tell them. Do you got a code to tell them about? No, no you don't code. Have a code? No. We'll, have, we'll have to get you hooked up with a code. Yeah, I need a code. We're going to get him hooked we'll up code with a code. Spencer. All there right. you go. <laughs> you got a code? Spencer. We do, but we're going to get you <laughs> there a code. You go. Cameron. Look, he's you're got gonna, a code. Just wait. You're going to get Cameron's yeah, don't code. Use ours. Oh, hold on. Don't use theirs yet. Yeah. I do have a code coming. So stay <laughs> <He> tuned. <does. laughs> All right, guys, we're out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. In a few months, man, stay tuned because you'll see this setup right here cleaning up a whole lot of leaves here in Missouri. So can't wait to get some video footage for you guys on that. But I'm out. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, hey, God provides. Yeah, we're about to have some fun this fall.